Hello, this is Walter Fate. Turns out I don't have to work tonight, so I'm going to try to finish a 9-11 special. I know that half my videos are called specials, so they're not really all that special, but oh well. This video, by the way, has nothing to do with 9-11. I found this thread letting us know why women don't play video games, and while I doubt the seriousness of the first post, there's actually a lot I'd like to cover here. Hopefully I can also find a bit more, because this is going to be my video on incels versus video games. Invisible Two Women starts it by posting, a good indicator of how easy women have it is that video games are mostly played by boys slash men. While the teenage incel plays Dark Souls in Mass Effect, his sister is going out with her friends, smokes, drinks, and has sex with older guys. An interesting thing to notice is that the majority, if not all, of video game commercials were displaying boys playing. Also, Nintendo's famous handheld's name is Game Boy. Gaming companies created video games to provide some additional entertainment, and on some occasions the only one, to males. The marketing was directed towards boys. Women had no reason to bother with such things because they had better stuff to do. In fact, many girls don't even know what video games are, and some of them even consider the concept plain stupid. So, pointing out that Nintendo used to only advertise to boys is really pointless. Everyone knows that. We're just bringing up how the industry has always been sexist. Not complaining, really, but it has. I like their implication that people who play video games do it because their normal life is lacking and depressing. It kind of reminds me of someone, actually. Ah, uh, yes. It's our original patron saint of incels, Elliot Roger. His manifesto outlines how he sank into World of Warcraft to avoid his actual life, and he would spend entire days playing. Saint Elliot, however, had problems and would eventually be pushed out of the game by new players, many of whom would sit and chat talking about getting late and call people virgins as an insult. I would probably just assume they're 12 years old and not listen to them, but Elliot was crushed, and this is probably one of the most important events leading to his day of retribution. So I guess it is fair to say that at least somebody's hiding in these games to avoid a life they hate. Continuing on, Cat Scratches tells us, been playing games ever since I could, although I will admit it sprouted from watching my older brother's consoles and playing with them, so I grew up being led into it from outside sources. On top of that, my father's side hobby has always been working with them fixing computers, which left me with easy access to having one. I've sunk more into WoW lately, and that's a game that really shows in video games. Every single raid team or random battleground team has two to three whores that absolutely blow, generally healers. It's not any more fun for me to deal with them than it is you. Girls generally seem to be too vapid and dull-witted to play video games and certainly can't entertain themselves long enough for single-player games. Okay, so I'm not going to go super into this, but I think the idea is that this is a woman who agrees that most women are just bad at video games. Her history is mostly full of posts about WoW, druids in particular if that matters. Someday people will figure out to stick their weakest members on DPS instead of healing. However, we have more important things to cover right now. I agree. If you could get a girlfriend as a teenager, you would probably prefer cuddling and talking than escaping reality playing video games. I try not to be bitter about all the wasted years, but sometimes it gets overwhelming, especially when the future looks grim. This is so fucking true. Well, guess what? You can have a girlfriend and also play video games. Playing video games with a girlfriend does not equal playing video games alone not true in the slightest. Females who play video games are completely turned off by guys who also play video games. They are bigger chad chasers than normie females. Exactly. People think nerdy girls that also wear glasses aren't shallow at all. They're all the same. Every female, whether they were fat, unattractive, short, tall, nerdy, anime fans, etc., all lost their virginities to the same guys in high school and college. The top very few guys every female lusted over and ignored 99% of guys. Literally every girls in my class lusted over my Chad friend. These guys are still pretty ridiculous. Being in a relationship doesn't mean cuddling and talking 24 hours a day. At least it doesn't for me if I ever get into one again. People do tend to have a few interests that don't have to do with their relationship. Second, girls who like video games love playing them with guys. I haven't met every girl in the world, but this is my general experience as a person. Escaping reality. Some of us actually enjoy playing games for reasons other than LDARing. Let's look at someone who disagrees but seems to think science backs him up. Sorry, have to disagree here. The reason why more boys play video games is the simple fact that boys slash men have more testosterone than girls slash women. Testosterone makes you competitive, and playing games is one way to express your competitive drive. That's also the reason why there are more boys slash men at the top level in video games. You jump too fast to a conclusion, but of course your explanation fits perfectly in this sub. You are just so caught up with Chads and Stacys that you're blind to other reasons why it is like that. Not for single-player games, but I do see your point, especially considering video games started out as arcades where guys would compete for positions on the leaderboards in the arcade games. Actually, 
There are more women playing video games, yeah. Didn't you know that, you bigoted sexist scum, huh? Huh? Like the gaming market consists of 52% women, ha! Huh? What do you mean they include Candy Crash? And then we have these assholes arguing over what's cope, so I'll skip that boring shit. What we seem to have here is a non-incel, illustrated in no small part by calling them women instead of females, who's giving us the kind of explanation that's prevalent in the gaming community as a whole. Pretty misogynistic, but it's not 100% wrong either, probably. I feel that women are encouraged to not be as competitive as men, and it might be seen as an unattractive trait sometimes, but testosterone honestly might play a bit of a role here. This guy really needs to stop looking at things in black and white, though. Now let's have a look for the millionth time at how incels react to women disagreeing with them. Women only do things for attention. If they play games, they certainly play online, with a mic and a username that implies, or outright states, they are female. And they only do this for male attention. Yeah, there's no doubt that some girls do it for attention. Not that that makes them bad people or something, but also remember that the default is usually to call everyone male, so sometimes they have to make it very clear what their gender is if they don't want to have to correct people all the time. Continuing on. This is typically because they are too weird or crazy to have a legion of admirers on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. How often do you see two or more women playing games together? Hardly ever. They connect to online games alone and garner male attention. Weird. Because my best friend and I, as well as our younger sisters, used to all play games together at our sleepovers. With no internet at my house my whole childhood either. And when we did get it, we stopped playing online, because when people heard our voices on mics, they became uber creepy. So we just played against each other. Keep deluding yourself into thinking everything a female does just has to be for male attention. I'm going to keep going with this for a little bit, and then probably call it a night. This video is already dropping on 912 technically, even for those of us on the west coast. Okay, let's go. I said hardly ever. Reading comprehension is key. This pitifully average slut only wants to confirm her beliefs. Go play, for example, Overwatch. Record the number of men queued together versus the number of women queued together. Is it really likely that in the Overwatch community, men so outnumber women that women cannot possibly queue together? I have yet to see two women queued together in Overwatch or Counter-Strike Go. This suggests that women are not interested in queuing together. And lol, are you implying women don't seek male attention to feel better about themselves? Are you saying that women don't post pictures of themselves to receive compliments? You've deluded yourself. I'm not the kind of person to use the word mansplaining. In fact, I preemptively hate it because it's going to be abused a lot. But wow, this bullshit with pointing out semantics and then saying she needs better reading comprehension. Someone shove this guy into a locker for me, please. This kind of turns into a slap fight, but let's go a little longer. In my experience, no, it's not a hardly ever thing. I come from a family with five girls. Four like gaming, one doesn't. Most of my female friends enjoy gaming, and we play online with each other in the mills in our friendship groups. Just because incels have no female friends, they assume no female could possibly be interested in similar things. The truth is, they just don't want to be around you. Mostly because you're a bunch of cunts. I'm sorry, but I will never discuss delusion with an incel, as you seem to be some of the most delusional people on the planet. No reason or logic will ever reach inside your tiny minds. Haha, <laughs> you don't even play those games, you lying slut. Why don't you post some more pictures of your face on Instagram? Try to get some dudes with a big dick to ram you once a month. Better aim low, though. Attractive dudes with big dicks are going to have better options than a 4.5 that goes on the internet rants. Alright, I'm gonna call it there. This goes on with them insulting each other for a while, but my time is drawing to a close. One last thing. This really didn't have that much to do with video games, after all. This is the exact same rhetoric you hear from incels about everything. Here, let me show you. Stop giving credit to virgin women. Do you really think virgin women are more accepting to incels than other women? Hello, well, Virgin women are chad chasers, just like any other woman. The pure girl you fantasize about is just waiting for a chance to fuck the biggest chad she can find. Stop being so fucking blue-pilled. Your virgin nerdy waifu would rather do ass-to-mouth with chad than talk to you. It's over. All women are whores. Some just take longer to whore around. The comments are full of the same kind of shit, by the way. Good lord, their last bastion of virgin women. Even that can't be a hope. Bet those suicide bombers will be mad when their hundred virgin brides only want Chad. No matter what women do, they only have one focus in life for these guys. And yeah, it's Chad. I'd like to thank everyone who's been supporting me. I'd like to thank Booze, I'd like to thank this random woman who plays video games, but also suggest she stops posting in the incel subreddit because they don't want to hear it, obviously. And I'd like to thank Abigail. Have a good day, everyone. Even if it is 9-11.